Turning to campaign 2016 now, he said it again. Donald Trump today repeated his belief that voter fraud could steal the election. But local election officials told CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely it's Trump's charges that are fraudulent. But they even want to try and rig the election. In Colorado, Donald Trump with a now familiar charge that urban vote fraud could cost him the White House. Take a look at Chicago. Take a look at St. Louis. Take a look at some of these cities where you see things happening that are horrendous. And if you talk about them, they say bad things about you. They call you a racist. But Chicago election officials say there's no evidence of widespread fraud. Over the last decade, in various elections, there's been 9 million votes cast. Out of all of those millions of votes, we have just had 10 matters that we've had to re refer to the Cook County State's Attorney's Office. Officials admitting Chicago still suffers from the old vote early, vote often reputation. I first ran for office in Cook County. I know what people can do, so I never will take the threat of fraud lightly. But election officials say the advent of electronic voting with paper backup has drastically reduced avenues for stealing votes. There's more cross-checking voter lists with other agencies, even other states. And bipartisan monitors oversee the entire process. When the votes come in, we have Republican and Democratic judges here watching this count. When they start opening those, uh, those mail ballots, we have people there. When it's early voting, we have Republicans and Democrats watching everything. Orr says his office has been consulting with both the FBI and Homeland Security about the risk of computer hackers compromising the voting process. But he says the biggest risk for fraud is with mail-in ballots, where someone else could possibly vote in place of the person for whom that ballot was intended. Still, Erica, neither the city nor county officials believe that this risk is high enough that it could possibly really decide an election. So Trump, he mentioned St. Louis, he mentioned Chicago, and with voter fraud, he says things are happening, but does he ever get any more specific than that? No specifics, no details. And remember, when you talk about fixing an election, we don't have a national election. We have 50 state elections, which are actually run within those states by thousands of county officials. So if there was a conspiracy to throw an election, it would be the biggest conspiracy anyone ever saw. Okay. Not very likely. Thank you, Derek.